There are those that have said, if you want to be a master miner, you need to pay attention to a statistic beyond just the percentage of ore in a rock and the mass of the rock. There's a value that they're calling purity. So as we do on this channel, we're going to dig into that and find out, is purity a thing? So this investigation of mine actually started months ago. So I've got several weeks of data gathered on this, and it started by some mentions that I'd seen in global chat in the game. I'd seen mentions in Reddit, a couple drops in Spectrum, and even some comments on my own channel. People had said, hey, hey, if you want to really do the best in mining, if you really want the best data, then you also need to take into account this purity number. So where does this come from? On your scanner, there's a whole variety of information. I'm not gonna go through all that. There's information about the mass of the rock, and over on the right, there's this percentage of ore in the rock that we're used to seeing. It's the same value that you get when you pull out your mining laser and go to look at the rock. But when you scan for a rock, there's also this second value. It's had some mystery around it. What is this second value next to the percentage? The percentage value is actually very consistent. It's the same when you're actively scanning the rock and when you plot your mining laser and look at it. But this second value was the mystery value and this is the one people are calling purity. Now I'm not gonna debate what the actual name of this value is. To be honest, I haven't heard CIG even give a name to this. Hey, what's your name? But this was the name that people were calling purity. It wasn't so much the name of this value that I was interested in. I don't care. I care. But the implications that people were applying behind it. They were saying that if a rock, for instance, said 100% purity, that if you broke down that rock, that there was essentially a 100% chance that you'd get chunks of the rock, the extractable chunks that would be 100% pure ore content. So that was the focus of my testing. If this was true, if you could predetermine whether the broken down chunks would be in high percentages or not based on this purity value, then that would allow you to evaluate a rock even before you started fracturing and spent the time to break it down about whether you were gonna really have to deal with inerts mixed in with the ore you wanted during extraction. As I began this study, it became clear to me why people might be coming to this conclusion about purity. If there was a rock that had some percentage of ore in it and said 100% of purity, and then they broke it down and got a 100% chunk, then you'd think, Eureka, I've done it. I've broken the code. I now know what this purity value is. It means I'm gonna get 100% of this ore. But for this purity value to really be true, for this theory to hold up and actually be mathematically proven as a law, it needed to be true every single time. Any rock that showed a 100% purity value, regardless of the percent of ore in the rock, meant that when I broke down that chunk completely, I would wind up with one or more 100% chunks of ore. That turned out not to be true. And unfortunate. Unfortunate that I know the truth. When I would break down those rocks, I would still get the ore mixed with inerts and sometimes not get 100% pure extracts of the ore. It did happen sometimes, but not every time. So I had to chalk it up to chance. But there was something that was very consistent every single time about this number. So what was that? As it turned out, this number is actually a ratio of the extractable ore within the rock. In every single case, without exception, that purity value would always wind up totaling 100% across the number of extractable ores within whatever chunk of rock I was looking at. And those percentages matched the percentage of ore I would find within the rock. You would also never wind up with this situation where a completely broken down rock 
is showing 100% purity, but less than 100% ore in the rock. It is not logical. So the percentage ore that we're used to seeing and that we see with the mining laser was telling us this was the amount of ore in the rock along with the inerts. It was taking the inerts into account and telling us what percent of ore I could get out. That second purity value was ignoring the inerts and saying, well, just relative to the other extractable ores, how much of each ore is in here? In reality, I don't really need that number. I could look at the percent ore in the actual rock and come to that general conclusion pretty quickly in my head. This isn't to say it wasn't a valuable number, but it seemed pretty obvious to me. So this purity number that would also predict the purity of extractable ores that I would get at the end turned out to be disproven. I will put out one final caveat here though. It is quite possible that CIG in their game development, which is iterative and ever advancing in various aspects of mining and other parts of gameplay, it might be that in the future, that purity theory winds up being true. Maybe in the future, that number will not represent just a ratio of extractable ores within a chunk, but it actually will show something else. Maybe it will tell us the odds, if you will, in a very reliable manner of getting a high percentage of a given ore when we completely fracture a rock. It's just not true today. I hope you like this separation of fact from fiction kind of video. If you did, put something in the comments below. Maybe you like role play. I'd like to hear from you. I want to give you the kind of videos that you like to see and hear about. You can like and subscribe, use my referral code, all that kind of stuff. Until next time, I'll be talking to you later. Landing complete. Hope doesn't stay.